John here. Here's liquid today number 21. This is a sweeping exercise in G Lydian. As usual, you can find the link to the tabs in the description below, and you can also find it here on the screen. We're gonna start on the high E string on the 14th fret. Like I said, it's in G Lydian. And we have two arpeggios. We have a G major seven. And then we have a uh, F sharp minor seven. In a normal major key, this F sharp minor seven would be an F sharp minor seven flat five. But since we now have a, a Lydian scale, we're not gonna use the fourth. We're gonna use the raised fourth. So by raising that, we're raising the flat five of the F sharp minor seven flat five into a normal fifth, which makes that chord into a F sharp minor seven. So if that sounded confusing, rewind it and slow it down. Uh, it's, pretty, it's fairly easy. It's just one note difference and that affects the actual arpeggio as well. So that's the two different arpeggios and they look like this. So the first one, uh, we start from the lowest note. We have 10. 14 on the A string, 12 on D, 11 on G, 12 on B, and then 10 and 14 on the high E string. And then for the sharp minor 7 arpeggio, we're gonna have 9, 12 on A, 11 on D, 9 on G, 10 on B, 9 and 12 on the E string. So you can see here, uh, the E strings and the, a, the E string and the A string have, have the same frets. Not the same notes, but same frets in both patterns. So that can make it easier to remember. And the actual sequence we're going to do then, we're going to start at the top of the first arpeggio with an upstroke, then pull up, 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 down, hammer, down, 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 up, pull off. So then I play uh, the next arpeggio with an upstroke, repeat the sequence. Then on the top here, we're gonna play these notes. So it's five notes. And then back where we started. So it's kind of a weird sequence because it's a very odd numbered sequence. Uh, but if you repeat it a few times, you're gonna go get back on the beat. So that's a, that's a good thing to do when you play, practice it slowly. Uh, and when you practice it a bit faster, you can try to uh, speed this up a bit. So you can hit the, the downbeat again. So there's different ways you can approach it. So So just different stuff like that. And what I did here at the end, uh, it's basically us continuing down the, the sequence. So, so I have F sharp minor seven, then the same shape, E minor seven, so it fits the scale. And then I just added a, that thing, I think. I don't even really remember what I did. So you can basically do this from any arpeggio to any other arpeggio and just making sure that you follow the scale that you, that you or the tonality you want to keep it in. Uh, so it's a fairly, fairly uh, easy thing to sort of chuck into something else. For us practicing this, I would recommend going through it with the different subdivisions and you know, you can just do whatever you're comfortable with at first. But so I would do maybe eighth notes, so one and two and three and four and, and then just play it in this case twice. So uh, the goal is to start on the beat and then play it without losing the timing until you end up on the beat again. Uh, and then you can do eight note triplets, which is gonna be trickier. You can do 16th notes, so there's four notes per beat. And if you're really adventurous, you can do five notes per beat, six notes per beat, seven notes per beat, eight notes per beat. So it's a lot of stuff that you, that you can do, but the most important thing is that you, whatever subdivision you choose, is that you, make sure to do it slow enough so you have control over 
whether or not you're actually getting it right. So always go for accuracy and don't kid yourself when you do this stuff. But you're gonna find that even though you, you, you're sort of struggling with a subdivision and it's getting hard, once you get through it, you're gonna find that when you try to play it faster, it's gonna work way better because you, you really gain some control when you have to adhere to a specific subdivision, especially through a, like an odd note pattern like this. So that's about it for this one. If you have any questions, just post them below. Otherwise, hope you have fun with this one and see you in the next one.